So, Rock, verify range, go. Range green. Three valves are coming open for one last chill. Helium load is ending nominally. Engine purge ISO is open. First stage engines are chilled in. Vehicle is in auto idle. T minus one minute. Vehicle is in startup. The flight computer is in control of the vehicle. Stage one and stage two tanks are pressing to their flight pressures. T minus 30 seconds. All propellant tanks at pressure. T minus 20. Fire X is on. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Stage one. We have liftoff at the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Starting pitch kick. Starting gravity turn. First stage engine at full power, looking good. We have a solid telemetry link, and the power systems are normal. First stage propellant utilization is active. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory, altitude 5.3 kilometers, velocity 225 meters per second, and downrange distance of 6 tenths of a kilometer. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. Propulsion's performing nominally, starting stage 2 engine chill. We have a solid RF link, uh, power systems are nominal. -no. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. 30 kilometers altitude, 1 kilometer per second velocity, and downrange distance 20 kilometers. Dragon power systems are nominal. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory, 53 kilometers altitude, 1.7 kilometers per second velocity, and downrange distance of 51 kilometers. Approaching Miko 1. Miko 1, planned shutdown on engines 1 and 9.
First stage impact point past the Minmiko. Miko 2. Nominal velocity at Miko. Stage set confirmed. And that ignition confirmed. The dragon, you know, dragon nose cone has been jettisoned. Stage two propulsion systems nominal. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 176 kilometers altitude, velocity of three kilometers per second. Downrange distance, 320 kilometers. And power systems are nominal, and we still have a solid telemetry link. OSMS LC, please move to net A. Stage 2 propellant utilization is active. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 220 kilometers altitude, 3.4 kilometers per second, and downrange distance of 470 kilometers. Second stage propulsion performing as expected. Second stage power systems looking good, and we have a solid telemetry link. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 269 kilometers in altitude, velocity of 4 kilometers per second, and a downrange distance of 712 kilometers. All stations MD, step uh, procedure 7.100 complete, we're on st uh, procedure 7.101. MVAC and stage 2 performance is good. Vehicle remains on a nominal tra trajectory, 300 kilometers in altitude, velocity of 5 kilometers per second, and downrange distance of 1,000 kilometers. IMU sensor remains healthy, and GPS lock is verified. And we are picking up data from New Hampshire.
vehicle's internal guidance. Vehicles pass through the European gate. FTS is saved. Roughly 30 seconds to Dragon set. And back shut down confirmed. Dragon's Falcon separation. 9 and Dragon are in orbit. Dragon is in separation. Is in prime. Wait, wait, wait. All stations continue on your procedures. Apogee 346 kilometers, Perigee 297 kilometers. Inclination 51.66 degrees. Cameras forward. Dragon set. Start of payload settling to play. Dragon is now free flying in orbit around the Earth. We are very excited. If we maintain video coverage, we hope to see the deployment of the solar arrays. Uh, if we lose video, uh, everything is likely still operating nominally. Uh, we just have the limit of our signal. Uh, we have about a minute before the uh, fairings that house the solar arrays are going to jettison and that's going to automatically trigger their deployment. Um, right now the Dragon's propellant system is priming itself and the thrusters are going to fire and then it will... Uh -oh. Hope we can hold signal here. Boy, well we have just about 40 seconds to wait for this. Let's see if we can't hold our signal and watch these solar rays deploy. Solar ray deploy attitude. Convert Draco thruster firings. Attitude looks good. Dragon is in a ray deploy. Props is nominal. Dragon Solar Array Deployment. Newfoundland AOS. Solar Array Deployment. Solar Arrays have deployed. Well, we can see the Solar Arrays deploying. This is a great moment. Of course, this is just the first step of a very complex mission. Power Global. Uh, but from all accounts, we have Dragon orbiting the Earth with the Solar Arrays deployed. We have a, a couple days worth of really difficult challenges before we get to the station, but there's both, both solar arrays are deployed. Dragon is performing nominally, and we are looking forward to a great mission here to the International Space Station, hopefully to become the first private company uh, to service our international community at the space station. Go ahead and acknowledge, MD. Okay, Power Global acknowledge. LD, MD on countdown. LD's on a phone call right now, MD. Yeah, copy that, LC. Uh, we're going to be switching off countdown net. Thanks for arriving. Okay, all stations, it's MD on mission A. We're on 1.10. Dragon is in coalyptic plant, no calm.
Well, as expected, Dragon is just about at the limit of the Newfoundland ground station. Uh, we're probably going to lose video shortly, but right now, Dragon is still... The flight computer's in control of the vehicle. Stage one and stage two tanks are pressed. So, Rock, verify range, go. Range green. Sing to their flight pressures. T minus 30 seconds. All propellant tanks at pressure. T minus 20. Prevalves are coming open for one last chill. Helium load is ending nominally. Engine purge ISO is open. First stage engines are chilled in. Vehicle is in auto idle. T minus one minute. Vehicle is in startup. 